Today we are visiting Swansea Castle. Swansea Castle is in the city centre of Swansea. Not much of what was once a 4.6 acre Norman castle remains. All that's left are a residential block and a part of a parapet wall. The first castle on this site was founded by Henry de Beaumont in 1107, built here on a cliff overlooking the river Towie made of wood. And like the tale of the three little piggies, its outer defences were destroyed not by a wolf, but by the Welsh. The castle was eventually rebuilt in stone, probably between 1221 and 1284. That, however, is not the castle we see today. These are, in fact, the remains of a castle built in the late 13th or early 14th centuries. By the 14th century, the castle was losing its military importance, and so the south face was capped with an elegant series of arcades. Eventually, the castle fell out of military use completely. Over the following years, parts of the castle were used as a bottle factory, a town hall, a workhouse, a post office, and a military drill room. It's a bit of an odd area because you've got this ruin here and then you've got the big BT tower there all flashy and new and then just over there you've got a laser tag place which looks like an old theatre and the facade is really ornate and then you look out over there and it's a bit futuristic looking in the fact that it's big open space, big telly, you expect to see a dictator appearing on the screen but maybe that's just me. Once upon a time, debtors were imprisoned here, but apparently before that, they used to come here to work off their debts. There was also a guy imprisoned, hung twice, survived and lived for another 18 years. He must have been really lucky with a hangman. It must at one point have been really quite grand here. It's obviously very defensible because it's full of slots for archers to shoot people through and that kind of thing. And it was absolutely enormous at one point, but of course now there's so little of it left. It is a bit odd to find a castle slap bang in the middle of, well, you know, quite a big city, really. Certainly an interesting place to come and visit, if a little bit sort of disappointing as to the fact that not a lot of it's left. But hey okay. So you can still see the holes in the tower and if you look up there are lots of different archways and mouldings and things like that. So it was obviously well finished and I think it would have been quite an impressive place to see when it was done. It's a shame you can't see it in one piece. However, it is an interesting landmark to find in the middle of the city. I quite like to see a bit of exposed inner wall when the facade has gone and the fact that sometimes you get that transition from this rugged rubbly stuff to the smooth facing that's quite pleasing as well because then you can see what it looked like and what was behind it without having to actually dig for anything and the fact that castles quite often become green spaces because you've got a bit of greenery here and you've got your pigeons nesting out there and roosting it's just quite nice to see that there is just this little wildlife haven in the middle of a place filled with buses and cars and a tv <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that there's a TV playing in the middle of the place. I should probably get over that fact. So tell me, Joe, what did you make of Swansea Castle? It's a shame because <laughs> you can't go in it. You can only kind of walk round it. It'd be, it's one of those places that it's nice to walk past with a cup of coffee in hand and go, that was a nice building once. <laughs> yeah. But to come and visit just for itself, unfortunately, it is, uh, is lacking somewhat in vista. Yes, if you're coming to sample one of Swansea's many bars, taverns, then yeah, by all means, come and have a nose, but it is a peculiar thing. I mean, the daft thing is there's quite a lot of it here and you kind of look at it and think, oh, this is really quite interesting and wouldn't it be nice to go inside? There's not a busting great deal that you can go in and see. I mean, it is tiny, but I should imagine there's plenty to see inside that would be of interest. Yeah. Unless, of course, it was all made to look impressive on the outside and, and just a bit... Well, it is really yeah. pretty from the outside. That's the shame of it. Yeah. The thing about Swansea, Swansea's got an awful lot of old buildings and some of them are just sort of fascinating, some really nice mouldings on them and that sort of thing. And, and it's worth, as you're wandering along, having a look up. Obviously, you know, you want to pay attention to where you're going yeah. so you don't get run over or walk into people. But some of the buildings around here, 
if you ignore the stuff that was thrown up in the 60s and 70s, there are some really fascinating buildings. It served a nice purpose in that it's brought us to Swansea, where we probably wouldn't have come otherwise. If you want to come have a look around the town and have a look at other buildings as well, then it's definitely worth coming to see. It certainly is. That's it from us at Swansea Castle. If you want to keep track of our adventures, please click the subscribe button. See you next time. TGFN. And annoyingly, we've walked out of shot and your camera's sat there. <laughs>